streamers, blue confetti, and a carton of Gorilla Glue are all part of the process in making the King Records legacy float for opening day. In fact, this is a look at the vision for the final product. So we'll actually have can lights on this actual tree, what we call the tree, and they'll actually be shining down in here, which this is where all the artists will be. Artists like Otis Williams. In we fact, I spoke with his son, Kent Butts, on Tuesday, who is the executive director of King Records Legacy Foundation. I get Sherry, a lot of people think I'm doing this just because my father was one of the artists, I'm an artist, or I know Bootsy, I work with Bootsy. That's beautiful. But Kent says it's about providing transparency on the history of the legendary record label. He says some of the most well-known songs like The Twist were recorded right here, but people don't know. Everybody was picking off The Twist, but that was Hank Ballard that recorded The Twist right here. Or take the song Fever, for example. That song was recorded right here by Little Willie John. So all these different things right here, people don't even know it was recorded right here, right off of I-71. Kent says many artists and styles were born at the label. Take funk, for example, with icon Bootsy Collins. James Brown taught Bootsy what on the one means. The record label is celebrating its 80th anniversary, and Kent hopes to spread awareness through opening day. Um, as you come around this side, you'll see we kind of flow it all the way around to the back of the trailer. And fundraise for the foundation to promote the rich musical heritage. The event, again, will be here at Red Bull Thursday from 8 to 1030. And, of course, you're going to see the final product of this float on opening day. Reporting live and over the Rhine, Peyton Marshall, Fox 19 Now. If it